Good morning! So I last left you, um, I think on Monday night. So I had done two full days of Whole30 and then I kind of took a break from recording. Um, it's now Thursday, so I'm on day five and things are going really good. Uh, we did have some really yummy meals. Um, one, in fact, you'll see again for lunch today. That's a, a chili, a pulled pork chili. So, so good. I'm obsessed. It's really yummy. Um, I had some crab with my parents last night for my brother-in-law's birthday. Got a noisy bin. And uh, today I actually had a work meeting that was out to breakfast. And I couldn't record when I was there, obviously. That's um, kind of you know, ground fun. But um, I was able to actually order a breakfast that fit within my Whole30 plan. So, um, I ordered a veggie scramble. And I requested that instead of using butter or pan spray in the pan, they use olive oil. Um, so they did that, and then it was just eggs, broccoli, tomatoes, onions, yeah, it might be, oh, and mushrooms. And then I had like a little side bowl of fruit. So I actually did find something. I think it's probably the only thing on the menu that fits in Whole30, but I did find something to eat out that was Whole30. So that was really good. Um, I can even put a picture after this maybe. Um, but yeah, it worked out well. And today's just gonna be leftovers of that chili. Um, and then I'll show you what we're making tonight. But things are going really good. Um, I'm feeling really good. I feel like I have more energy. Obviously, he's getting into something. Uh, but I have more energy. I'm feeling really good. Um, there have been a few times that I've had to kind of run to the bathroom, but I think that's pretty normal um, for just detoxing and adjusting to a new way of eating. So yeah, other than that, everything's going great. I'm super excited and I'll keep you updated. Tonight we are doing burgers. So I have some grass-fed burgers that we're gonna grill out on the grill. Um, I'm just gonna do mine on a bed of lettuce, but I did buy buns for my boys. Um, I obviously won't have cheese, they might, um, but I do have some compliant mayo and I have some compliant barbecue sauce and then I have some tomatoes. Um, and I think it's gonna be delicious. I also, I've got a watermelon I'm gonna cut up. I was gonna do fries but I totally forgot and now it's too late because we're about to grill and I don't have time to cook potatoes. So we're gonna do some watermelon instead and I think it's gonna be awesome. Got some jalapenos for my hubby, some tomatoes for me, and I'm gonna cut up this cute little watermelon for all of us. Okay, I clearly don't know how to cut a watermelon. Look at them burgers. Ben, what are you doing? While we're out here cooking, got our cute little chickies. Out here free range and eating some bugs. Hi girls. My burgers are done. Looks like theirs are still melting some cheese. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Ow, ow! This is how my burger turned out. I got my burger under there with my Tessie Mays, my tomato, my lettuce. Ben and Austin are eating it with the bun. Jalapenos. Jalapenos. Ben's very excited about the bun. So yeah, we all get to have hamburgers, but I can have mine whole 30 and they don't have to. So I've noticed the last few days I've started like breaking out a little bit on my forehead. It's just a bunch of tiny bits. Like that one right there and right there. So I think I might be breaking out a little bit as I'm like detoxing stuff. I don't know. I don't remember if this happened last time, but I don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, so there's that. Good morning. It is day six now. 
Um, so we're just going to start the day off with a little bit of scrambled eggs and at our house, obviously, uh, we can put meat in the scrambled eggs because I know that the meat's compliant. Um, so I'll show you what we've got as far as that, but I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling a lot less bloated, like looking at my stomach, it's a lot less bloated. My clothes already feel like they're fitting a little bit more comfortable. Um, so things are going really well. I have good energy throughout the day. Um, yeah, everything's feeling really, really good. So I'm excited and I will show you what we're having for breakfast today. Got my little helper this morning. Um, so we're gonna cut up some mushrooms. Got one more uh, tomato from my sister's garden. We've got these little pearl onions from a local farm. And then I've got this diced uncured ham that, uh, where'd it go? There you go, you can see the ingredients. There's no sugar, which is obviously the biggest thing with these meats from the store usually. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those three cut up and we'll go from there. Now that I've got all this done, in the pan we have obviously our ham, our onion, and our mushroom. I also have some ghee in there, and then you can see right here I put some garlic. Um, usually when I do mushrooms, I do garlic salt, but I'm not going to do that because the garlic salt is not compliant. So I just put garlic in there, and then I'll put salt and pepper um, once this kind of starts to cook and the ghee is melting. And then once everything's all cooked, I'll throw in the tomatoes and then the eggs. This is looking delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and add in our tomatoes. And I'm honestly just going to let those cook for like one minute just to get like warm and soften up a little, I guess. Um, but not very long, and then I'm going to add the eggs. It smells so good in here. I wish you could smell it. And fun side note, um, I've mentioned before, obviously these eggs are from our chickens in our backyard, um, which is why they don't have to go in the fridge. But I always keep the eggshells, don't mind our little mess over there, but I always keep the eggshells. And then right now, so I cook them in the oven uh, for just 10 minutes and then we smush them all up and I give them back to the chickens to eat as a calcium supplement. So that's kind of fun, but it looks like we're getting... Pretty close here, we're almost there, which is good because I have a work meeting that starts in like three minutes. Just like that, there's breakfast and I might add a little watermelon, we'll see how I feel, how full I am. Hello and welcome to day eight. Um, I have not been great this weekend about filming all the different stuff I've been eating. The weekends just get me out of my routine and it throws me off a little bit, so apologies there. Um, I did end up eating out at Five Guys last night. My husband was craving Five Guys um, and what I was going to cook didn't feel like it was going to hit the spot last night. So I went to Five Guys and I got um, their burger in a bowl that they do, so it has no bun. Um, and I had lettuce, tomatoes, and green peppers, and then I brought my own mayonnaise and mustard to put on top of it and it was actually really good. I liked it a lot. Um, and it gave me a good amount of veggies and their burgers are compliant. So that was great. Um, this morning we just had a meat veggie egg scramble like I've been doing most of the days. I didn't know if you'd want to watch that for the 45th time, so <laughs> I didn't record that. But we are getting ready to do dinner tonight and I think it's one that you're going to like. It's um, one that actually is a super simple switch even when you're not doing Whole30. And um, we had it last time I was doing Whole30 and it's super delicious. So really looking forward to it. That's why I would go away. And I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. All right, we are doing this spaghetti squash um, and arrabbiata sauce. Arrabbiata. I have no idea how you say that. Um, but the biggest difference is obviously that instead of spaghetti noodles, we're doing a spaghetti squash and then um, making our own like seasoning and tomato sauce. So these are the ingredients here, and I'm actually not doing pork. I'm going to do turkey because I had a bunch of ground turkey, and I actually like it better anyway. So we're doing that. Let's get started. Turkey is thawing. You can see where I poked it to see if the center is still frozen, which it is. Um, but we are going to go ahead and get started on the spaghetti squash. 
That was uh, harder than I'd like to admit to cut through. I felt like I was carving a pumpkin, which I also felt like when I was scraping out all those seeds and stuff, but got that done. So now I'm going to put it in a baking dish with some water and we're going to microwave it for like 16 minutes. I had to trim off the little like corners there. Luckily, it was mostly just like the outside part, so it's not taking away from our food. Um, I have to put it in this smaller dish so that it actually fits in my microwave and can turn. So I'm going to do the other half tomorrow when I eat the leftovers for lunch. To store this big guy, we are going to use this beeswax wrap. You just kind of like fold it down around the edge. Um, and I love it because it's non-toxic and totally natural and reusable. I had slightly less of the pancetta than it calls for, but I have more of the turkey than it calls for. So I not worrying about it. It's just all going to even out. We're going to cook. Um, you can see it's down there hiding the pancetta with prosciutto. Prosciutto. And I got my turkey, my ground turkey, and my onions. So we're going to cook all these up together for a minute before we add anything else. Spaghetti squash is out and I'm just letting it cool down before I even dink with it at all. Got my tomatoes cut up. Got my compliant roasted red peppers. You can see right there. And we are just waiting for this mass of meat to get some cooking going on it. Just added all of our seasonings. Italian seasoning, garlic, red pepper flakes, salt. I did way less red pepper flakes than it said because we got a little two-year-old here and um, I want him to eat it. Roasted red peppers and tomatoes are in in my pan. And a little full there. Yikes! Got all of that scraped out and then we tossed it with just a little bit of salt and olive oil. It's been covered and cooking for a few minutes, getting the tomatoes soft. I did get it all mixed in, but as you can see, we are just full as full can be in this pan. Um, now we're going to stir it and kind of smash those tomatoes up a bit so that it starts to make sauce. Also, in the spirit of full disclosure, I'm getting a little bit of a dish build up. I have these dishes, obviously, from tonight, um, and then like my cutting board and that stuff over there. But I also have a few dishes in the sink. So I haven't 100% stuck to my staying on top of the dishes. I feel like I've been doing pretty good, and I will get caught up. Um, but if you're feeling bad because you're not staying on top of dishes and you're doing this, I get it. I am trying, but I don't do great all the time either. That is looking really good and saucy to me. It's smelling really good. It's kind of cooked down. You can see I'm finally like inside the pan. Uh, so I think we're just going to get served up and call that dinner. For how much extra meat I put in, I should have put in more extra tomatoes than I did. Obviously there's, there's a lot more red than mine, but... I think I did pretty good. It smells good, it looks good. Maybe tomorrow when I reheat some of that for lunch, I'll add a few more tomatoes, we'll see. Well, we just got back from my niece's birthday party and I successfully did not eat any of the treats even though there was cake and cupcakes and cookies and they were made by my mom who makes killer desserts. Um, but I resisted and it was great and funny enough it was my sister who's doing Whole30 with me, it was her daughter, um, but she resisted too so we did good, it was great, dinner was delicious and I'm excited for tomorrow. Do one last update before I end this video. Uh, my skin seems to have calmed down a lot. Um, I still have like a little, where is it, over here, like a few little things here and there um, but it's clearing up really good much by the end of this. Um, I'm expecting to have really clear skin. So, uh, yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, um, it's looking a lot better. I think we're going to pass that part of it. I still haven't had any days where I'm like crazy starving or going through any crazy withdrawals and I don't know um, if that's just because it's my second time or what, but we're done with the eight and I'm feeling really good. So, love it. Having more energy. It's great. Um, I hope you enjoy these little meals and blurbs. Um, and yeah. I'll uh, see you in the next video for another update.